So in this video, we are going to see how to uh, draw a construct a four bit down counter. So this it starts from uh, higher digit to lower digit, start counting. So how to do that? So first, let us construct it with the JK foot lock. So since I'm going to take four bit, I'm taking four JK foot lock. So it will count from 0, 0, 0, 0 to, we say here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 to, uh, sorry, it counts as it is a down counted, start from 1, 1, yes, 1, 1 to 0, 0, 0. So from here to this, it will count. So it's got it. Since 4 bit it is 2 per 4, 16 count it will be including 0 to all ones count 16 count. So we will see how to construct that. So for that we need a 4 JK flip flop. Now first let us connect the flop symbol. So since it is a count tab, uh, the output should go as an input uh, clock signal. So this is the first chip, uh, JK flip flop. Its output should be given as a clock signal for the next ticket. So now its output should go as a clock signal for the next ticket. All clocks are connected. Now I have to keep the clock uh, circuit. Yes, now all the clocks are connected. First, directly the clock signal is given. For the other two clocks, the output should be given as the clock signal. Now all the J and K should be connected to the high power so that toggling will take place when both are one, it will go to the opposite complement state. If it is 0, it will toggle to 1. If it is 1, it will toggle to 0. So now, all these things have to be given as the, or the power, it is high. So here, if you see that the power symbol, here it is that you can give that connection. So now they all are given high power. So all J and K together are connected to the high power. Now, so clock is connected, J and K are connected. And then now we have to see the output. So uh, not only that, you can give the clear signal. Clear also can be given. So. So at a time when you press that button, clear button, all the information in all the data flip-flop can be erased. So that is the idea. So for that, you can take this button from my input output. Button can be taken and given. This is the clear signal. This, uh, there are three input, three output. The last one is the clear. Now we have to see the output. So output can be seen in the queue. Now, so why I am giving is it will come reverse. So from here we have to see. That is why I am giving this connection here. So that it will be easy for us to follow the, what is coming. So you can see, if, you, if it is given like this, it will be reversed. So it will be uh, difficult to follow. That is why I am arranging it like this. Now we will give the LED so that we can see what is coming out. First, change the facing to north. Now we will see how it works. Initially, all are zero. 
and make sure fifty fifty go. Now during the rising edge, see all has become one. Okay, so after that, what it will be the output after one one? It has to be the next data is one 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 zero. So that will be the next one. Can you reduce it? Then again, it is. One one zero one. So like this. Even you can count. You can write it from here as like this. Zero 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 one. Then zero zero one zero one zero zero. Zero one zero zero, and then Uh, this table. This is what the output, the order of the output. Now we will verify whether we are getting in this order. If you say that zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So this, then. So the next one is so this is called. So your output starts from here, so it comes from starts. Now already it is here like this all one. Now I just press the uh, in the next clock first, we'll see. See here one 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 zero. Then this one one zero one. Then see one one zero zero and so on. See one zero one 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 zero one zero one zero zero one and so on. So you can see it is counting down. So this is a countdown. Four bit binary. Down counter. So when you give the clock pulse during the rising edge, the output changes and it counts. That is why it is called a counter. So it is counting from fifteen to zero. So totally sixteen count it counts. So in order to achieve the counter, what you have to do is first to check if uh, flip flop only you give the clock pulse directly. For the second uh, clock uh, for the second JK, the previous JK output has to be given as the clock signal, and so on. And all the J has to be connected. All J and K has to be connected to the high power. And then you can give a clear signal. And then when you keep, you please arrange this output like this. Or else, if you give like this, it will be confused. So here it will come and so so it will not be in an order. So that is why the last I have given like this. From here, then then like this, so that you you will be able to watch the Counting down clearly. Now we are, we will see how to do the same picture can be made to count up. So how it can be done by just changing the clock pulse. Now we will see how to change the clock pulse. See here, the Q bar has to be given as the clock signal. Just by changing the Q bar. Uh, instead of Q, you have to give the Q bar. So, this extra bit can be cut. 
Now, uh, you can see the output. Now we will give the software. Still it works, sir. So actually what we have to do is we have to see that this is Q. What we got? Yeah, the now you see that see here one it has started from be here one and then one zero one one and you will have to be four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen Yes, so the same diagram I can convert it into a four bit up counter. Now, this is four bit up counter. So, how it is done? You can uh, here you can count the Q bar, uh, the output from Q bar has to be given as an input for the clock signal. Okay, then as usual, in the previous case, we have seen the output in Q. The same thing. Only thing is you have to change the clock signal. Now you can see it, how it works as a down counter. So using Q bar, it will work as a, uh, sorry, up counter. That is starting from 0, 0 to till 1, 1, 1. If you reverse it, that is Q is given as an input for a clock signal, then you will have a down counter. 